pantry. Gosh dang it, October can't come quick enough. We can let them babies fly. Let them fly. up a little bit today okay I'm not gonna be flying a drone over crops I'm gonna be shooting a pig with that all-new sever hybrid broadhead let's go here in southeast Oklahoma I got too many buffaloes but anyways we got pigs out the ass so follow me into the journey one arrow one broadhead stick a pig with a Look at that. That is a 93 Nissan Frontier. Okay? Four wheel drive manual. Okay, got the quiet cat on the back. Bad rig. Bad rig. Beautiful cornfield. Got cut about four weeks ago. There's my camera. No, I'm gonna pull corn out on Saturday. It's gone. It's smoked. Had a massive group of piglets in there last night, just hammering away. They've been in there every morning, every evening. Um, I hope I hope it works out to give you guys some beautiful footage, but you know, hey, if not, we'll try her again, Jimmy. My cameraman is uh, he's on the uh, he's on his platform now. Look at him; he's looking good. My better. He's looking good. He's all he's all ready to roll. Look at this. We got a, we got a little bit of blood hanging off the old Victory. It's from last year. Look at that boy. Look at you should see the amount of ants running up and down this tree. It's freaking phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal. Thanks, Sitka, for all the pockets that you give us. Okay. A little windy, but this year, a little windy, yeah. All right, this year, what we got going, proud to say that I've partnered with Sever Broadheads. Okay, today we're gonna to be throwing on a hybrid 1.5, it's their new model that just came out. Okay, of course it's gonna be on a Victory Arrow. We don't shoot nothing but Victory. Check out this case, is that not freaking baller? And yes, I waited all the way to the tree. I've got one arrow, one broadhead, and a Hoyt RX-7. Let's try not to drop this, Jimmy. I got sweat pouring all over my body here in September in Southeast Oklahoma. Looky there. Looky there, looky there. She's gonna blow. She's gonna span. She's gonna blow. She's gonna span. Name that movie, Mr. Lane Frost. Okay. We got a pretty Pretty, pretty as tight as I'm gonna get it with my bare hands without using a tool. Hope my lumen hunt goes off tonight. 40 yard pull. Ladies and gentlemen, 
that's what you call getting close. You know, I got that Hoyt RX-7 Cam Haynes Origin Edition. I ain't no Cam Haynes, but uh, pretty sweet camo there, Slick. I gotta set my pin at about 40. Then we'll be off to the races. Hell, and then I gotta make sure I can pull back in this area, because I ain't even checked. All I gotta do now is come in, Jimmy. You can't get better footage than a nice kid. Guys, I've got 106 of those in my freezer from the nighttime hunts around here. I got one broadhead and one arrow. I ain't swinging at the old kitty cat. I heard they're eating those things up north. <laughs> We're almost halfway through this hunt, and I'm starting to think maybe the one time I get in a tree, it's not going to happen. Well, let me tell you, it happens. As a matter of fact, 7.30, 7.45, I start seeing the, the weeds and the trees start to move, and here they come. We got piglets, we got sows, we got boars, here they come. But here's the thing, my camera, which is extremely good in low light situations, makes it look like it is freaking high noon outside. Oh, that's, a great, that's a great beverage, by the way, high noon, golly, give me a kiwi, blackberry, come on, right? So, these pigs are, you know, you, Technically, you can't just go and stop a pig, right? No. So I'm freaking full draw. I drew back four freaking times, Jimmy. I'm sweating, but I got hearts racing. Not to mention, it's a 39 freaking yard pull to the corn, okay? Which for most of you guys is, oh, that ain't nothing. I'm in elk country. Yeah, well, 40 yards for me in September is a pretty good little chunk there, Jimmy. So, as a matter of fact, I'm anchored out. Finally get one to hang out and you'll see what happens. Watch as the arrow is released. You can see this pig start to duck. Its belly is almost touching the ground. Okay, so I'm pretty sure my arrow was on path to be very successful in a good spot. But as you can tell, at 40 yards and how spooky pigs are, they intend to move a little bit. So, we didn't get the result we wanted, but the severed broadhead did intentionally kill the pig. So, roll forward. There's the thing I made a comment earlier about 
I'll shoot one in the spine. I didn't want to do that, but it looks like that's what just happened. I could never get anchored because they were moving constantly and there was like 10 on the corn pile. That was a lot. I'm freaking exhausted. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's obviously still alive. You can see my Luminoc. I'm gonna walk up on it. Try to put another one in it. Wish me luck. Suspense music start now. Hello. I think I just shot that in the room. Oh, it broke off. Look. I think you shot it. I'm being honest with you. Look. Yeah. I hit it. You rolling? Yeah. Second arrow. Penetration. We got what we call a mess on our hands. Well, we got a dead pig. But, as many of you probably do, whether you're in Texas, eastern Oklahoma, or uh, all the way down south, we let our pigs lay. One, because I have a lot of instances where we, when we do leave pigs lay, they stay off our fields. They go the other direction. And we kill hundreds a year. Whether we're running thermals, we're in a tree stand, we're shooting clip after clip after clip, you know. We try to we try to manage as, as best we can because they're a nuisance. They tear up our cornfields, they tear up our wheat fields, you name it, they destroy it. So for us, our main target was to slap that severed broadhead on our victory arrow and let it fly and see what it does. Guys, if you're in the market or you just can't make up your mind this year as far as what to throw on the end of your head, into your into your head, into your arrow. Take a look at Severed Broadheads, that new hybrid, man, it is, a, it is an elite broadhead. Um, I'm going to drop a link in, in the comments for you guys. Click on that link, go check them out. Um, and if you, like I said, if you're in the market, you're thinking about switching, buy a couple of them and see how they fly for you. The good thing is, is that they, uh, they have a set point screw in the broadhead. So you can take that set point screw and screw in a practice screw, which is going to hold those blades together. And you can shoot them at your uh, you can shoot them at your target, so you really get the full effect on how they're going to fly on your arrow without messing anything up. So as you saw in the slow motion video, the pig ducked. I think my arrow was on course, but hey, we'll never know. But at the end of the day, several broadheads did the job. Guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We are growing each and every day. We're up to 11,000 subscribers. Thank you. Let's ride, and we'll see you another time. Come on.